Welcome back. You may recall it was a year ago that WBAY celebrated 70 years on the air here in Northeast Wisconsin. Well, coming up this weekend, the CP Telethon will celebrate its 70th anniversary on the air at WBAY. The longest running local telethon in the country just keeps on going. Coming off of last year's record total of nearly one and a half million dollars, all of which stays locally to help clients in Northeast Wisconsin. To celebrate 70 years, the Telethon is launching a new live stream event from 2 to 4 o'clock on Saturday, and then we'll take up its normal broadcast slot on Sunday right here on WBAY. The setup continues, and earlier today we spoke with the brains behind the broadcast, Kristen Paquette from CP. 70 years, yeah. Kristen. Mm -hmm. That means a lot, but it's year one for this live stream event. It's going right. to take place on Saturday. So tell us how that idea came about. Where'd you get, where'd that, where'd that come from? Well, I think we just really wanted to look at our, our community and how that's changed and grown over the years and that we needed to kind of grow with it if we want to see another 70 years of telethon. So we thought this year would be a great year to mix that tradition that mm -hmm. everybody knows with the VIPs and the entertainment on Sunday with a live stream on Saturday that might uh, attract different people. Okay, so it's a couple hours on Saturday. I think it's 2 to 4 p.m. Yep. And as we look behind, th this is your this is one of your logos, your yep. innovation, compassion, purpose. And innovation, you got that covered, right, yes. with, with the live stream. <laughs> so what do you hope to be able to bring to the viewers in the live stream that maybe mm -hmm. you haven't been able to do before? What kind of look will we get here? The idea is that it's interactive. That's okay, what we really so. want it to be. So um, we're going to be throwing questions out to our viewers um, and hoping they'll answer. We'll do um, some, they can ask us questions and we'll respond in real time as we can. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things we're doing is a, is a recipe in our kitchen. So we might say, should we use mayonnaise or should we use Greek <laughs> yogurt for it? So we're gonna throw that out there to our audience. Okay. Um, in addition, we're gonna offer some resources too. So after each segment, they can go to our resources page and download a playlist from Spotify that our clients created for exercise and maybe the recipe I just talked about. So we're hoping to make it really interactive is the idea. Okay, so for people that want to take part in that and interact with you folks, mm -hmm. how do they do it? Can they just log on during the day? They just pop in and out? Do they have to register ahead of time? They do need to register ahead of time because we just need it for counting purposes. Sure. It's free to do so. Okay. Um, our virtual doors open about a half hour prior and then they are there for the two hour event. They can come and go as they please. Um, they can stay the whole time. We just hope people will chime in and, and share their, their their comments and share their questions and their thoughts. All right, so we know you want them to interact. Yeah. They can interact, mm -hmm. but can they donate? We know how it works here yeah. on Sunday, right? <laughs> they call the phone yes. number, they, they pony up some cash. How can they do that during the live stream? It'll be great. Right on the live stream, there'll be some donate buttons right across the bottom. Okay. So we're making it super easy. So if you're comfortable donating online, that's the quickest and easiest way to do that. All right, so you're dipping your toes in the technology waters yes. <laughs> this year. If this works the way you want it to, mm -hmm. What kind of ideas do you have for the future for this? Could you expand beyond two hours? Could you go into Sunday? Could you start on Friday? What kind of things are you kicking around? I, I think we can always um, expand and grow. Okay. Um, you know, we like the idea of doing it on Saturday. We love the idea of keeping Sunday full of that sure. tradition and that what community expects from us. So, um, but you know, could they both live together and happen at the same time? There's really some cool ideas that we could we could take from this. So this year's a learning year and we'll see what happens. All right, so the litmus test will yes. take place yes. on, <laughs> on Saturday. But yes. we know, as you mentioned, on Sunday, everybody's familiar with this tradition. And it's a tradition, listen, we all grew up seeing mm -hmm. lots of telethons, mm -hmm. right? We don't see that anymore. So why does this format, do you think, still work for you folks? And why do you think it can continue to work in the future? You know, we talk about that every year. <laughs> like, wow, we cannot believe that this still, this still happens. happens. Um, I think it's just, it's the product of the community that we live in. Even that, you know, like I would mentioned, it's, it's becoming more diverse and it's growing. There's still such that core community that supports and rallies around organizations that they know the dollars that they give stay here in the community. And that's what CP is. Um, so we help people throughout Northeast Wisconsin, but all the money stays local here and people can really get behind that. After 70 years, what do you think people in this community that have been so supportive mm -hmm. still maybe don't know about CP? That's a great question. There's so much to know. We are, we're so diverse in our programming and who we serve. You know, we started as an organization that serves those with cerebral palsy, right. but we have grown by leaps and bounds to serve really what the community needs. So anywhere from 
Down syndrome, Down syndrome autism, um, CP, spina bifida. We have people who have had recovering from injuries even that use our pool. So mm -hmm. really we have such a breadth of services that people don't know until they come to our building. Um, so things like telethon and the sure. live stream help us share that story for maybe people who don't need to set right. foot inside our building, but they'll be able to see it this way. All right, and again, it starts Saturday 2 to mm -hmm. 4 with the live stream, and of course Sunday will be yeah. here pretty much all day. Pretty much all day, yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and we'll remind you once again, here's the schedule for the 70th CP Telethon. That live stream taking place Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. Our own Kristen Allen will be hosting. Make sure to register to take part. You can go to wearecp.org for information. And Sunday, of course, the Telethon will air right here on WBAY from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Please call in and donate if you can.